y'all welcome back it's been a while <laughs> i try to post every friday but last friday something was supposed to happen but then the weather changed its mind so then it didn't end up happening <laughs> so there was no schedule for any filming but it's okay because now i have something to show you from hobby lobby <laughs> it had been a while since i got to hobby lobby or michael's i just I was really happy with what I had, but I went to Hobby Lobby because of the home decor. I was seeing a lot of clearance out from people I follow on Instagram, and they were showing like 75% off of home decor, and um, the one closest to me didn't have what I was looking for, but then I went to the craft section, and uh, it was 50% off Paper Studio, and I never, it just so happens I never go when Paper Studio is 50% off. I always go when it's not. If you're in the Tulsa area, just so you know, the Hobby Lobby on Tulsa Hills, they clearance out their home decor first, and then they do their craft section following. So whenever you see hauls, it's usually two weeks after the fact. But the one on 71st by the mall, they clearance out their crafts to first, and then they do their home decor. So just so you know, shout out to all the Tulsa peeps. Okay, I didn't pick up any home decor though. <laughs> I picked up a lot of paper stuff. Um, this was one thing though that I did get that was home decor. I thought it was so cute to put in my little hutch by our table. Love this little detail right here. Very nice. $374 from $14.99. And it's probably because this is torn. Now I used to work at a frame shop and this, this is no reason for them to have put it for 75% off. This is just butcher paper, if you will, except for the waxing. Uh, and this is what I used to do at the frame shop and you could just put double-sided tape and you put it over it, you could tear this off. I mean, just, it's hilarious to me that people won't buy it because of that, but it's okay because I got it for $3.75. And I'm going to show you what I got for 50% off. These glitter sheets. I got this one. It's like a gold corrugated cardboard, gold glitter. And I got it because it reminds me more so of sand. And I tried doing a layout, or I did, of my little girl in the sandbox. And I tried to mimic sand with gold glitter. And it came out cute. But I wanted something that was more similar to sand. I'm not picking it up probably because of the glare or something. I'm not sure. It's not focusing. Um, and I thought this looks more close to that than gold because this has more it's more of a bronzy yeah like more of a brown tone gold than this yellow one so anyway thought for beach layouts that'd be kind of cool and then this one because it's just so darn good i'm using a lot of glitter in my layouts right now it's just fun and those were a dollar each and then i picked up some of these jams because they're gorgeous and i've always wanted them uh, so these were 50% off. Probably won't use these in my layouts. They're huge. Even if I just use that, that's still a good price. Uh, I'm sure I'll use these. I just don't know when or what. The colors are not as dark. Here's the clearing stuff, which I'm so excited for. These gems. Look at those bows. They are so cute. For 62 cents. Then these. Now these are big and I thought maybe for um, centers and flowers, that'd be kind of cute. These seashells, I use seashells a lot in beach layouts, so I thought these would be cute. They have like an iridescent on some of them. And I like the colors, that really nice ocean blue. And then I have been wanting these to go on clearance. <laughs> And the one in Tulsa Hills does not have this on clearance, but the one on 71st did. And I love them. They're for popcorns, for movies, for carnivals. My little girl loves popcorn, and I have a few pictures of her with a popcorn bag that's like the size of her. <laughs> and so for 74 cents, I had to have it. These, I'm not into the whole girls, like um, the whole Felicity Jane vibe with the girls. 
couldn't use that in my scrapbooking, so I thought even if I just paid $1.24 for these dimensional Jolie inspired ones, that's okay. We have the mitten and the cake topper with the cupcake, the utensils, the mix, and the bowls, the mixer, whisk, not a mix, <laughs> and the apron. It's just so cute. And they're dimensional, so if you ever wanted to use um, them multiple times, you can totally take that off, you know? I'm pretty sure I'll show you what I mean in a layout. Then, regular price, because the 40% coupon is no more, because I totally could have bought these at 40% off last month. <laughs> it's still a dollar cheaper than scrapbook.com. Um, I remember when these were at Tuesday morning, like maybe three years ago, and I thought, I'm not gonna buy that because that's just glitter glue. And then my crafty friend Janet sent me some, her work was embellished with some stickles, and I was like, D did that come with that already, or did you put it on there? And she's like, I put it on there with stickles. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. So, um, yes. Oh, here's another sticker that I bought for 74 cents. It's the baking. So cute. Life is what you bake it. I just like the colors. The sugar cookie's cute. 74 cents. The only thing I don't like about this is that it doesn't come with any packaging. So um, it loses its stickiness very, very quick. But I suppose you can put it on cardstock and then cut it out. Uh, and that would fix your problem, but still. You would have to use them right away. They don't store for very long periods of time. Okay, and then I found this. So it doesn't, it's like too big, but this is a tote. It is a craft organizer that, ooh, camera's shaking, that you can put in your suitcase. Now, I don't have one. Look at the price, look, $4.99 from 1999. They are selling these suitcases for $23.99 or something like that, and I almost was gonna get one because of how cheap that is. That is a good price, y'all. But I didn't because I don't go to crafts. I just don't need it because if I were to scrap somewhere else besides my craft desk, I have my Rascog carts, my craft carts. I just don't need it. And I even thought about getting it uh, just for traveling, just to have, you know, but I don't, I don't know how well it would hold up because we're pretty rough with our suitcases when we travel. <laughs> but anyways, if you are into crafts and you've been wanting one, go to Hobby Lobby now. I'm telling you, hopefully yours is already marked down. They're not all sold out. They are for 24, did I say 24, 22? Either way, it's still cheap. Why did I get this then? Because one of these that my sister bought me a long time ago when I uh, first started to really get into scrapbooking back in high school. This is very old and it's hold up very good. I don't like these handles for the top. So I wanted something that didn't have that and this did it. And I love to use these in craft cards because I don't like it to slide all over my cart. So, oh, I don't know why it's doing that. There you go. So that's why I bought it and it was for five bucks. Five dollars. Five dollars. <laughs> Such a good deal. And they had other stuff that was on sale with their craft storage. So if you're looking for storage and stuff, go right now. Speaking of storage, look at from $34.99 to $8.74. This clip and spin organizer, I've seen crafters use this. I can't remember her name right now because I haven't watched one of her videos in a while. But I saw her have it and I'm like, oh man, I would love that. Especially when you buy new products, just put them on here and have it at your table because it's not taking up so much space if your table's big enough. Instead of it being laid out on your desk, taking up all that space on your desk, you can have them upright. For $8.74! That's nuts! You could put 75. I might even be able to put all my stickers on here. I don't want to use it for my alphas. I love the way my alphas are stored right now. But I might want to use these for all like my Jolie stickers, 
or just yeah oh my gosh i've been wanting to use my labels more so maybe label stickers yes this is the last one that i saw that was there i'm so glad i jumped on it so that's all from hobby lobby see y'all in my next one which will be a layout share because it's time because we're towards the end of the month can you believe it towards the end of may it's insane all right see you in my next one